Frank the Tank Hogan, ready to go to work here inside the Gatiss Arena in Boston. And they have come out in force to show support for Hogan. Judges. Here we go, eight rounds of boxing in the middleweight division. Our referee, Marcel Varela. TJ DeSantis. Bugs. Doug Fisher, Peter Welch, live tonight here on UFC Fight Pass. Appreciate you joining us for Hollywood Fight Nights Boston. Frank the Tank Hogan in the Irish colors. He's staying southpaw, taking on the orthodox fighter in Jimmy Williams. Peter, what kind of style of fight do you expect Hogan to take here early in this fight? He's going to establish the jab. He's already touched him a little bit with it. Shook him up to the left hand already, landed that. So Jimmy felt his power. got word that we're going to actually be able to take a look at the uh, weigh-in outfit of Frank the Tank Hogan here between rounds, so you might want to get the kids out the room. <laughs> one minute down here in round number one. You know what? This is my first time seeing Hogan live. Um, watching him on YouTube, I didn't get a, a sense of his hand speed. He's got faster yeah, hands than I thought quick. he does. Yeah. He's got pop, too. Well, I know he's got pop. 12 knockouts and 13 wins. But, uh, <laughs> that's a pretty good ratio. I'm not yeah, too good at math, but that's a pretty good ratio. Yeah, he's he's quicker. His mitts are, are, are faster and he's lighter on his feet than um, than I saw just watching you know footage on the internet. Peter, do you know the, the highest level that uh, Hogan um, reached as an amateur? National level. National yeah, level. He competed okay. at a national level. You know, over 150 fights, qualifying tournaments. He, he saw it all. Yeah, I know he has a win over uh, one of Fernando Vargas's boys. I think Fernando Vargas Jr. And yeah, you know, those, those guys are, are well schooled. They were all in. The father would travel all around the country to get a match. Or so they were in the mix. There's that showmanship. For Frank the Tank. Frank, Frank, step back, step back. Williams wants to jab his way in and uh, just try to uh, out hustle Hogan. That's what he normally does. Yeah, he's a gamer. He knows this is his stage, hometown, making some noise. Dane is here. He's going to do it. Yeah, Williams is at his best when he's grinding. He just caught him with the left hand. Yeah, Williams is at the wrong distance right now. Because I think Hogan's power is really at the end of his punches when right. he extends those arms. And he's got a nice bounce. He's in rhythm. He's ready to go. Yeah, I'm seeing the rhythm. I'm Stop seeing him lighter on his feet. I'm seeing seconds. him make use of feints. A lot better than what I've seen. I'm seeing Jimmy just a, just a speck behind in the timing. Frank to Tank Hogan. Solid round for him. Playing the crowd a bit here inside Agatis Arena. We mentioned the showmanship, and we're going to see some of that on display here in our replay. Douglas Fisher, why don't you walk us through this? Well, he's giving him the hip swivel, and um, he can do that because he's the one uh, in control of the distance. He's keeping Williams out at the end of his jab. So he had the space to do that, so he did it, and the fans reacted. The fans can react to that. Oh, that's definitely Borat. Yeah. <laughs> I, he might have borrowed it from Peter Welch's oh, closet, geez. though. I don't know. <laughs> what? I mean, that's the craziest uh, stare down photo I think I've ever seen from a win. It's a draw of attention, that's for sure. Here we go, headed into the second round. I think the hip shake is, he's found his rhythm and confidence. Jimmy's got to come out bombing now, as he did. Yep, and that's how Jimmy fights, although Jimmy just uh, ate him left. He might be a little bit rattled here as Williams Stop. now inside the clinch. Here they go. You can feel the crowd sort of sensing it. The energy in here picking up for Frank the Tank Hogan. 
See how aggressive Williams is now after eating that left hand here in the second round. Williams seems composed. There's wits about him trying to stay on the outside. And paying attention to the feet. Francis is much lighter on his feet. Jimmy's kind of stomping around a little bit. Yeah, Williams drags his feet. And he kind of pushes the jab out there as well. It, it puts him in a situation where he's like half a step behind. Like that. That was a well-timed straight left from Hogan. point of round number two. <laughs> Left hand finds a home for Williams. Now Williams is game. He's not going to be intimidated by an undefeated record. See that body work setting up a headshot maybe. That, that there was. Yeah. And I like that Hogan isn't loading up with every punch. Right, he's composed with that. Yeah. Kind of teases and touches with the jab and then lands something heavy. Now, Williams come back here. with a right. Now, Williams is, is dangerous in exchanges because he, he will just swing. He caught Hogan with a hook there. And Hogan took it like a champ. really can't get overconfident here if you're Hogan because Williams is thrown back in, in power and time. But he's got the right idea. Broben with the jab, setting him up, clean shots. Catching him when he misses, making him pay. Good command with the jab. Inside the ten final seconds. 10 seconds here. Start for the belt. Fun fight here so. unfolding through two rounds. Frank the Tank Hogan meeting a very aggressive Jimmy Williams in kind here in this ring. So definitely have a fight on our hands. I like that Hogan's taking small bites. He's not greedy. You know, he's not gotten right in for the kill. He's pick, pick, picking and looking for those clean shots. And he's landing them. He is. Right, he's been he's been caught himself a few times. You know, he showed how durable he is catching that right hand left hook on yeah. the inside of the corner. So he's he can give it and take it. Yeah, Not William, that you want to take it. <laughs> right, Williams has that kind of experience against a high level of opponent where he can be hurt and he's still dangerous. Right, right. And he will close his eyes and swing that left or that right yeah. in between the punches yes. of this antagonist. Yeah, that's the type of punch that'll put you on queer street quick. There Here we go. go. Through, around three underway. Frank Hogan taking on Jimmy Williams. He's getting you a little uh, fighting Irish stance so he can be further away. Don't forget our main event headed your way later tonight. King Callum Walsh back in action. Puts his undefeated record on the line when he takes on Wesley Tucker. If you see Hogan, he has a chopping left hand. It's like a Jose Napoli's chopping left hand. That's high praise. Or, or a guy like Salvador Sanchez. Uh-oh, yeah. <laughs> Sanchez had that. You know that. that chopper. Right. And he does it with that left hand. You'll see it once in a while. As he just eats a punch. The counter at Jimmy Williams shakes yeah. his head back. Yeah, Williams is looking for it. He's waiting that? For, for Hogan to drop his hands. Even if it's just an inch. Yeah, he's dangerous. He's catching shots on the chin and he's firing right back, Jimmy Williams. I mean, Yuri Foreman was was well past his prime when Williams upset him. But you, we're still talking about a former world-class boxer. A really right. good boxer. And uh, Williams was able to get in there and out-hustle him. Williams still throwing. 
Back at Hogan, but Hogan keeping him at bay with some punches. Now landing, stumbling Williams into the ropes. And yeah, Williams will throw himself off balance. I don't know if his legs are 100% there, especially yeah. after taking these shots. I couldn't tell if he was dizzy or if Hogan stepped on his foot. On top, on top. Yeah, he does stop. that. Stop, stop, stop. In the stop. clinch here, Williams stop. holding on. Marcel Varela trying well, to say, if, if Hogan can, can find a, a, a body shot, that would be a good thing right about now. He's got a touch over a minute to do so here in round number three. Jimmy's in a good position to counter. That's why Hogan's laying back a little bit. He's looking at the body. Do you like the patience here, Peter? Of, of I home? love it. I love the composure. It shows how much of a pro he's turned into. Box out. Stop holding, bro. Bro. Stop holding. Box. An inexperienced guy would have jumped in and got caught with something. Thirty seconds left here in round number three. Trying to answer the Hogan jab with the uppercut is Williams. Now starting to land here is Hogan. Final seconds of the round. Good finish to the body for Hogan. Another round in the book. Solid work here for Francis Hogan. Take a look at some of the action. Peter Welch walk us through it. I like how he's using that bounce. He's trying to go to the body, and Williams is dangerous coming back with that right hook. And Hogan's in a position to, to pull and counter, pull and counter. Keeps himself outside just far enough so he don't get caught, and then he's going to the body. Like yeah. I say, it pays dividends to go to that body later oh, in the you're fight. you're absolutely right, Peter. And I like the left of the body from Hogan, but he does have to be leery of that counter right hand from Williams. You know what I like to see? He's staying composed on the outside when he got Williams on the ropes. He's using a nice light bounce to set it up, trying to trigger Williams to throw those big shots so we can counter. Right. Inside the corner here of Jimmy Williams. He's landed some, but Hogan's been able to eat it and, and really answer in kind and, and be more effective with the striking. Here we go. Round four out of way. Frank Hogan in the green, white, and orange. Wearing the colors of the Irish flag on the St. Patrick's Day evening, taking on Jimmy Williams. Wearing the blue and white. TJ DeSantis, Douglas Fisher, Peter Welch. Live tonight, Hollywood Fight Nights, Boston. Appreciate you joining right here on UFC Fight Pass. Yeah, both Hogan and Williams have shown a pretty good chin. Stop! Stop! Inside this stop. clinch. Uh, Marcel Varela. If you get holding, you take a point. Warning Williams. Been holding that clinch a little bit longer than he would like multiple yeah. times here in this fight. And yeah, that was a hard warning. He's saying, I'll take a point if you do it again. <laughs> we'll see. Nice shot, Jack. Williams trying to answer with that right hand. And there's something on Williams' right hand, too. That was a nice one that Williams just landed. You like to see Hogan mix it up and not lead with the left, lead with the left hand instead of coming in with the jab every time. Step over with the left. See some blood underneath the left eye opening up there on Frank Hogan. That's definitely from like a right that. hand. Or it could have been the heads. Their heads have clashed a few Oops. times. The lead left every time. Into that corner is Williams. Williams is content staying on the ropes looking for that counter. Whoa, that hurt him. Nice shot to the body there by Hogan. Trying to fight his way back here is Williams. Like I said, Williams is that type of veteran who's, who's dangerous when hurt. He sure is. Shot to the body again. One minute remains here in round number four. Choosing that bounce, but you gotta be careful that you jump and don't get caught with something. Looking at the body, looking at the body. Well, the, 
those choice body shots, those are the punches that take out veterans like Williams. Slow you down. Oh, he's swinging for the fences with that right hand, Williams. Williams has his moments in every round with that right hand. Occasionally a crook, but in every round he's outlanded. He's a sitting duck lying the there ball. on the ropes. The body shots. Francis just at will throwing that left ah. hand. A bounce there a little bit was Williams. Walks to his corner, seems to have his legs underneath him for the time being, but definitely was hurt a couple times, I think, in that round by Frank Hogan. Yeah, it was a good competitive round, but it was definitely Hogan's round because he was able to land shots that, that actually stunned Williams. But Earlier in this replay, we saw Williams land the right hand, and then we see Hogan come back with the, like a left cross. Right. And I think Williams is momentarily stunned right here. Yes, I agree. And, and I, believe, I believe Williams was stunned more than once in that round. And Hogan's throwing those feints. He's bouncing a little bit, looking at the body, coming up to the head, so he's... He's confusing Williams a little bit. Williams is looking to load up in that right hand. When you only have one weapon to throw as a counter, it kind of, kind of limits your ability to, you know, to be in a good position in the fight, to win the fight. Peter, do you know if Hogan's been cut before in a pro fight? Uh, he's been cut, yes. Okay. So this is not new to him. Over there. It's not in a bad place. Yeah, he won't be phased by it. Doctor taking a look here at Jimmy Williams. Time in. Oh, Williams good to go. Here we go. Underway. Under what he saw. Yeah, I thought Williams was stunned a few times, but I didn't think he was hurt that yeah. bad in the previous round. He's still winging. Still throwing hard. I wonder if it was maybe his behavior in between rounds when he walked to his corner. It did look like he was a bit stumbled, but yeah, I don't think the fighting spirit has left Jimmy Williams by any means. Stop! Stop! Right in the third corner. Oh, we're gonna get Boy One taken boy here holding. now. For the holding. One boy holding. We saw that hard holding. warning earlier from in. Marcel Varela, and he Bust. does take the point here in round number five. So as if there weren't enough urgency here for Jimmy Williams, more so laid upon him now in this fifth round. Not to say it isn't effective, but he's only throwing the right hand. There's nothing else to back it up. So I'd like to see the right hand followed by a left hook. Maybe he can do something to get back in the fight. Yeah, we saw a jab, we saw a left Stop. hook, as well as the cross, and maybe like the first Fox. two rounds, and he's abandoned that. I think Francis has jammed up his computer a little bit. He's seeing too much, he's having a hard time dealing with it. Firing off of the body in the head here is Frank the Tank. I think Hogan should keep tapping that body of the veteran. Stop, stop, stop! There's let no, him go, let him go. Turn around, turn no, around. No, no quitting in Williams. He's still swinging for the fences. Yeah, he's a, he's a journeyman, he's an opponent, sometimes a spoiler. Um, he's got pride. That's why he's able to spring the occasional upset. Well, he said he liked that opportunity, and he's got an opportunity to pull a big upset here, but Frank Hogan starting to land more and more offense. I'd like to see Hogan just let his hands go and not load up so much. Ba -ba -ba -ba, just fire, fire. He's Seems to me distance. Hogan wants a little bit of trench warfare in this round. Yeah, he likes it. He's a savage like that. Yeah, he sees the highlight reel now. <laughs> Very good fight. Great challenge for Francis. Williams is a gamer. Yeah, these are quality rounds. Hogan is winning them, and he's winning this fight handily so far. But he does have to work by, for it. By Williams, yeah. So, right. There was another uh, sort of a cuffing right hand. The power not on that right hand as it was earlier for Jimmy Williams, but he's still throwing it, and Francis Hogan has to respect it. Nice left hand for Frank the Tank. Let him go, let him go, Blue. Stop. Well, if the doctor looked at that last round, he's sure gonna take a close look at this one. 
So yeah, you can see him working his way into the man, okay? yeah, ring and the referee saying that he's taking a lot of punishment. Stop by, okay? Yeah, I get he's taking a lot of he's taking a lot of punishment. Stern warning there to the corner by referee Marcel Varela. You don't want to see Williams take too much punishment in a, in a fight that he's not able to win. Stop it. That's a wrap. Who's stopping? Yeah. 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 The okay. point was to stop. Okay. Doctor stoppage yeah, yeah, yeah. here. That's a wrap. Frank to take Hogan. Picking up the 14th win of his career tonight. Okay. Yeah. Better safe than sorry. It just goes to show everybody's on the same page. We're all seeing the same fight, and the officials took the safe route. Yeah, and Williams can be proud of himself. He gave a, a real effort here tonight. He landed his shots, gave Hogan what I would call a professional resistance. 100%. And that's the type of opposition that's going to make a prospect grow. Well said, Doug. These even matches that 360's putting on, you know, this is going to grow the sport, not only the promotion, but the sport. Let's take a look at uh, some of the action in that round. Douglas Fisher, walk us through. Yeah, Hogan elected to stay on the inside. He was able to get to the older man's body. There was a left to the stomach. There's a left to the head, backing Williams to the rope. Another left to the stomach. So he was upstairs, downstairs, upstairs, downstairs with the punishing uh, fist. Taking too much damage, the young legs, putting the pressure on, the feints, the setups, the clean shots. Everything combined, it's too much for Williams to handle. Yeah, it's the, the accumulation Absolutely. of punishment and damage. That's uh, Jimmy Birchfield in there. Jimmy with, uh, Birchfield, CES. With Frank Hogan. That was a old school boxing guy there. Oh, yeah. Here we go, referee stoppage calls a halt to this one. To make it official, here's Joe Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of round number five, the blue corner requests this bout to come to a halt. Therefore, we declare your winner by TKO. He is still undefeated, Frame the Tail.